Okay, here we are for words of wisdom. And Easter wanted to talk about how to tell your animals to be calm, right? And Easter, honey, tell us. Like, what do you have to do? What do the people have to do? You have to center yourself. Because if you don't center yourself, your animals are gonna think you're crazy. Because if you don't stand, center yourself, your animals are gonna think you're crazy. Like in what way? Like what do you mean they're gonna think you're crazy? Well, because your energy is like scattered. Because your energy is scattered, that's true. And like we gotta say their name. You gotta say their name? Do you have to say their name because we have so many animals in the house? Do you have to know like who you were talking to? You gotta believe that your animal will hear you. Otherwise you're just talking at them. Otherwise you're just talking at them. That's very true. That's a good observation. And like when you are calm inside yourself, your animals want to be calm too. When you're in calm inside yourself, your animals want to be calm too. That's very wise. Okay, what about you, Felix? Felix is the um, eye doctor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See how he's the, he's the eye doctor and the dental hygienist <laughs> for Easter. Well, anyone who will let him do it, really. So, Felix, honey, Luca, you want to go first? Okay, here's Lukey Dukes. Luca, can you tell me? Come here. Can you tell me, Luca? How do you tell your animals to be calm? Well, you gotta, like, you gotta be calm yourself. You gotta be calm yourself. That kind of seems to be the consensus. And, like, if you yell at your animal, your animals aren't gonna trust you. If you yell at them, they're not gonna trust you. But what about when you're getting into something bad? Like, sometimes you get into something naughty and you don't listen to the first, so you kind of have to be more abrupt. That's a different story. That's like, hey, pay attention to me. That's like, hey, pay attention to me. Yeah. And then, like, when you want your animals to be calm, you can stroke them. When you want your animals to be calm, you can stroke them. Yeah, like we do the Tellington Touch. Yeah, and then, like, we also pat them on the head and stroke their body. You pat them on the head and then stroke their body. Don't be scared ever. Don't be scared ever. If people are scared, then the dogs are freaked out. Yeah, so you can't ever be scared. So you can't ever be scared. So if somebody's scared, how do they not be scared? Like, like here's an example. So like, let's say somebody's walking a dog, aggressive dog, and they see another dog, and their dog starts to act up, and maybe they'll get like a little scared. Maybe that other dog is off leash. So then what, what can people do? Have a plan in their head. Here, we talk about that, like having a routine to do when you get yourself into trouble. Yeah, and then like, like just sort of like center yourself and like visualize what you want. Center yourself and then visualize what you want. And then like just do it. And then just do it. Yeah, and like don't be questioning. Don't be questioning. Right, so like have faith that your plan's gonna work. What's not a big deal? He says, really, it's not a big deal. Like, anything. I mean, like, life is just fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big deal because, like, life is fun. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Life is fun. Like, nothing's a big deal. I like your attitude. <laughs> All right, here's Felix. Felix is ready. All right, Felix. What do you think? Like, when, what should people do when they want you to be calm? Luca is like can get into anything he would be a perfect stray wouldn't you Luca you would not starve he can open zippers okay so what do you think Felix what do you think about how to keep your animals calm it's kind of hard to do sometimes it's hard to do sometimes why because like people are spazzes people are spazzes <laughs> I'm not. Oh, well, glad. I'm glad you're saying I'm not. I'm sure I've fallen into that category a few times, though. But you're, like, pretty clear. 
I'm pretty clear. Yeah, well, I've been working at it a long time. But, like, what I've noticed is, like, you are what you think you are. What you've noticed is that you are what you think you are? Yeah, so, like, if you're walking and you start to freak out, then, like, something bad happens. If you're walking and you start to freak out, then something bad happens? Yeah, or, or like, if I'm in the car and I'm worried, like, someone's going to yes. say something to me to get me to know, um, it always happens. Oh, so, like, if you're in the car... And it's parked, and I left you in the car, and you're worried someone's gonna say something to you through the window. It always happens. Well, you're so cute, honey. Like, why should that scare you? Someone's just looking at how cute you are. Yeah, but I'm worried someone's gonna steal me. No one's gonna steal you, buddy. You're like a little gangster. No one could get their hands on you. I wouldn't worry oh, about that. And you got a German Shepherd in the car with you. You don't need to worry about stuff like that. It's like, this is what is the thing about worry? Sometimes you've lived a life of worry. Like, we're forced to worry. Sometimes you've lived a life where you've been forced to worry. And then, like, you're in this great life. And then you're in a great life. And, like, you feel the worry come up again. And you feel the worry come up again. And you, there's this, like, part of you that's like, stop thinking that. And there's a part of you that's like, stop thinking that. Yeah, I know that feeling, too. And then there's another part of you that's like, I gotta trust my intuition. That's true, that's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to decide. Like, what's your intuition? And and what's your old fear, right? I mean, that's like self, the goal to self-improvement. I mean, you just start, just every opportunity is, you can check that. Well, also, like, you just gotta like know life is awesome. You just gotta know life is awesome. And really, nothing is that bad. I, like, so agree with you. Nothing is that bad. Easter wants to get off the leash, but she's going to disappear. Okay. We need Hudson's words of wisdom. Hoodie! Hi, Hudson. Thanks for coming, buddy. Whoa! <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come on. Oh, look, he knows I'm mad at him. <laughs> I know, you were off the property. Come on up here. We need to talk to you about words of wisdom. Come on. I'm not going to yell at you. because. <laughs> okay, now we have to do Hudson's words of wisdom. We got all messed up with the camera because we were snuggling and it shut off. Every time I see Hudson, I got to snuggle. Ooh! Hudson, okay, you gotta pay attention now because you gotta talk about, you gotta talk to everybody about how to, like, for people to keep calm. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> paying attention. Why aren't you paying attention? Come here, lie down. Down. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, buddy. So, <laughs> come here, Hudson. How should people keep calm? How should people keep calm? You gotta think. Look at his mouth. You're so cute. I can't stand it. You're just a snuggle polar bear. Buddy, so how do you think people should keep calm? This is like serious. We need to do serious words of wisdom. You gotta grow up and be wise. Talk, like, channel your wise self now. Like, the best way for people. The best way for people to be calm is to put their dog in a downstay. That's so true, right? Because when you have a problem being calm and we're frustrated because you're a wild boy, it helps to put you in a down, kind of like we just did, right? Is that what you mean? Yeah, like downstays are my fave. Downstays are your fave? Why are they your fave? Because it's just like, whoa, energy relax. <laughs> it's like, whoa, energy relax. <laughs> Energy. <laughs> it doesn't look like your energy is relaxed right now, though. Don't you leave me, mister. So what else, buddy? <laughs> what else?
What else, Bug? What else? What else do you want to say? I don't know, how should people keep calm? Well, they should, like, expect too much from their pet. They shouldn't expect too much from their pet. No, like, not if you haven't taught it to them. Not if you haven't taught it to them. That's a good one. Don't expect too much if you haven't taught it to them. Right? What else, buddy? And then I'll let you get back to your adventures. Well, I think maybe like everyone should know that your animal's way smarter than we think they are. Your animal's way smarter than you think they are. That's true. Everyone should know that. And also, like, you're a dum dum if you don't train them. You're a dum dum if you don't train them? Yeah, I mean, like, you gotta train an animal. Like, to know commands. Otherwise, they got no. Oh, you gotta train animals to know commands, otherwise they have no idea how to listen to you. It's so true about that because, right, the process of learning teaches them how to process new information, right? Like everyone's like, oh, my animal's so out of control, but they don't want to deal with it. Everyone's like, oh, my animal's so out of control, but they don't want to deal with it. Yeah. You hear me talk on the phone all day long. <laughs> all right, should we say goodbye? You kind of feel like today's not going to be as hot as yesterday? I think maybe you're right just because of the, the cloud cover, huh? Yeah, and also, like, I sort of find our, like, this camera business interesting. You find this camera business interesting? Why? Because, like, I really have to think. You really have to think. I know. I love to think. <laughs> you love to think? I'm glad you love to think. That's a good thing. Are you thinking anything else right now before we go? Let me think for a second. Let me think for a second. Okay, we can be patient. I mean, there's some people that might have turned this off already. You chatty bunch. Oh. All right. Like, if you're gonna love your animal. If you're gonna love your animal. You better take time to put in some training. You better take time to put in some training. Otherwise, you're gonna have a cray cray animal. I know you hear me say that all the time, too, don't you? Yeah. Okay. All right, bud. Say bye, everybody. Have a beautiful day.